Now, more than three decades ago, HIV AIDS burrowed its way into the global consciousness. At the time, not a great deal was known about the disease, and that lack of knowledge contributed to prejudice and, in many instances, the isolation of sufferers. Well, since then, the outlook for those with HIV AIDS has got better as new treatments improve both health and quality of life. However, the fight to combat the disease is far from over. Well, I'm now joined in the studio by Justine Mutale, who's founder and CEO of Positive Runway, and the model and fashion designer, Jennifer Klein. A very good morning to both of you. I mean, let's find out, I mean, what makes the catwalk the ideal medium to actually push the message about HIV AIDS and to actually alert people to the fact that the fight really isn't over? Ah, the uh, fashion, because everybody is interested in the fashion, everybody is obsessed, everybody wants to wear the new fashion accessories, especially the young people. And it's been said that most of the new infections in HIV and AIDS are occurring in young people. So you th we thought we'd use a medium that would grab and hold the attention of young people. So that's where we find that fashion is very e effective in attracting young people to come and listen to the message about stopping the spread of HIV and AIDS. And it's obviously a cause which is dear to the hearts of both of you. Jennifer, why is it so important to you that people understand what AIDS is all about and how they can, what they can do to protect themselves? I think everyone in the world has been affected by somebody that um, has AIDS, whether it's in their family, friends, themselves, etc. Um, and I was very honoured that Justina asked me actually to be a part of this because fashion can be quite superficial at times. So it's quite important to feed back messages like Justina's doing um, globally, I think. Mm. And, and in terms of you, Justina, you're Zambian, I believe. So how is the situation with AIDS being handled there? In Zambia, we are making a few strides. The um, technological and medical advancements made all around the world have also spiraled into Zambia. But even then, because the medication is still expensive, although there's, in some quarters you can get free medication, but some medication has to be bought. And also it's ways of trying to reach the people in the very remotest area. And the poorest people are still suffering. In fact, they are still people that are still dying from HIV and AIDS in Africa and mo most of the poorer countries. Mm. And there's also a lot of stigma as well about HIV AIDS and even though we know a lot more about it and that the medication has improved people can live longer and healthier lives there is still this sense of keeping people at a distance because they have this I mean are you are both of you still surprised that that stigma exists Yes, the stigma is still very much there because remember when AIDS or HIV came in, it was introduced as a disease of shame and it was attributed to uh, sexual promiscuity. So most people don't really want to be, uh, to be attributed to that. When you say you've got HIV and AIDS, then people are thinking, oh, you must have been sleeping around a lot. So mo that's why most people hold back and don't, mm. don't want to declare their status. But by using models and beauty queens and fashion, we are trying to take away that st stigma. We are trying to bring in the glamour so that we take away the stigma and people can feel comfortable about getting tested, about let, knowing their status. And once somebody knows their status, then they know how to... Um they know how to behave, what kind of sexual behavior they should undertake with their partners and how to not spread it to the next person. Sure. And Jennifer, let's look at the relationship that you have with Justine's project. I mean, how did that all start and, and what's it done for you personally? Um, I met Justina at the South Africa Fashion and Culture Week um, a few months ago um, and we got talking then. Um, and I said to Justina back then that if there were any charity projects that she was doing, I'd really like to take part in and just help out in any way I could. Um, so she was kind enough to let me know about this event. <laughs> Fatal mistake. <laughs> <laughs> But, it, but it's been good fun. It's been fantastic. Um, like Justina was saying, you know, HIV unfortunately can affect anyone in the world. It doesn't matter um, who you are, what you do. Um, there is stigma attached still. Unfortunately, there's a lot of ignorance. Um, and I think by doing ev events like this to spread awareness, um, it's, it's really fundamental, actually, in 2014. Mm. Are you shocked, though, about the degree of ignorance and stigma that still survives? Because certainly in the West, we're talking about HIV AIDS a great deal. You know, there are people who are openly HIV AIDS sufferers, and they, they're very healthy, they have very active lives. And yet, in spite of that, people still have these misapprehensions? I think it's like what Justina was saying about the sexual stigma. Um, people associate HIV with sex and promiscuity. 
um, and, and not much else really. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there is not an actual cure as such yet in 2014 as well is, is disappointing. Sure. Um, so therefore, if there's no cure, we need to prevent. Sure. And, and this is what we're trying to do. Now, let, let's, let's, sorry. Say, I just wanted to follow on to the stigma. And I think even systems and governments, I'm very surprised that in the UK, you don't find any billboards talking about stopping the spread of HIV and AIDS. And when we went, went to Atlanta, there were no billboards. But when we got to Los Angeles, as soon as you get out of the airport, there are all these billboards talking about stopping the spread of HIV and AIDS. And I think that is to do with attitudes, because I think even in the UK, the stigma is very rife, including in, within government, because they never talk about it. Mm. Uh, no one talks about it anymore. It is one illness or one disease that has sort of been put onto the shelf there. Mm. in recent years because no one wants to talk about it. but it is happening and there are still new infections just last month the um, there was a government report that said so many thousands hundreds of thousands and thousands of people have been infected in recent years or recent months and also so many hundreds and thousands mm. of people do not know their status because they haven't sure. even been tested so there's at a lot, all. There's a lot of work to do and it there time is, is, a lot of time is very, very yes. tight. But obviously mm -hmm. this is one of the reasons why you have these fashion events. Now you had the fashion show last Saturday. Give us a sense of how it went. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun, actually. Um, Julius is extremely creative and flamboyant, um, as are his uh, designs. Um, so we all had a lot of fun, you know, at the fitting where he was trying everything on for everyone. Um, and obviously we used um, red, white and black, um, which were appropriate colours for, for this particular runway. Um, and I think all the girls just uh, had a sort of the same mission in their mind, you know, was... Well, some of your designs are also on display because you, you also design clothes too. I mentioned that in my, my introduction. I need to stress that too. I think. <laughs> yes, um, jewellery and clothes, actually, ladies' fashion. Um, no, not, not this time. Um, Julius just wanted me um, to model one of his designs on the runway, um, which is what I very gladly did. OK, so how much money did you raise? Is it, are you still counting? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a fundraising event as such. It was just to raise awareness. So we were not charging for people to come in. People had to come but in But you've raised free. a lot yes. of awareness. That's the key yes, thing. Yes, we have ra raised a, a lot of awareness. Apart from the audience that we had at the event, we have, the, we have videos going out. We have social media to send out the pictures, send out the message. So we do raise awareness on a global scale. Excellent. So, okay, hopefully we'll be having another conversation about your work in 2015. Yes. Yes, we've got a date. That's brilliant. But, ladies, thank you so much for coming <laughs> in and talking you. to us about your work and doing your bit to really raise the awareness of AIDS, HIV, and the fact that that fight is still ongoing. Thank you.